Hi, I'm Mike with Acid Tactical and I'm here to demonstrate our Acid Tactical stencils and to give you some tips on how to use these uh, and make your life a little bit easier. Um, so our stencils are made of 10 uh, mil vinyl. They're actually quite flexible. Uh, we created these stencils actually to use on smaller parts so that we can wrap them around a part and paint them and create a uh, stencil look on them camouflage. Then what we do with those is we hydro dip them in uh, hydrographic film and uh, when they're done they come out like this. So you can see this one here was painted using our stencils and then it was hydro dipped and it gives it a snake effect. Now one problem you'll run into when using our stencils, and you'll, you'll have this problem with any stencils that you buy, is overspray. So when you spray using a stencil, you end up with a square. So you actually end up with the edges of the stencil and you don't want that. So here's a little trick for you. If you take a piece of poster board and you take a stencil and what you want to do is you want to mark on the poster board a little bit smaller than the stencil all the way around. Then you want to connect those points and you'll make a square a little bit smaller than your stencil. And then what you'll do is you'll take your stencil and use masking tape. And you'll masking tape your stencil with that hole cut out. So it'll give you a larger piece so that when you're spraying, your spray paint's not creating that square edge all around your stencil. So what you end up with is a board like this. So this is for something larger. So if you're doing like a duck boat or you're doing an ATV, a vehicle, this will be easier for you to do. So you can have something larger so you won't have all that overspray every time you're, you're moving your stencil over to do the next pattern. So that's something you might want to try. Also, you'll see we our logo is on most of the stencils that we sell. Just want to cover that up if you don't want that on your uh, project. So the way you want to uh, start your project is you want to base paint it in some kind of camouflage color or whatever that you, you're, you're looking to do. So you want to spray paint the whole thing in a base coat. And another, another tip with stencils is uh, they're reusable, they're vinyl, so you can use them over again, you can uh, wash them using, uh, if you're using spray paint, turpentine or whatever. Um, but after you've used one, it's going to be wet, so it's better to have more stencils than you need. Um, so when you use one and it's wet, you can hang it. You're better off hanging it to let it dry. You let it fall on the ground, it's going to get dust on it, then it's going to be all messy when you try and use it again. So hang your stencil, let them dry, and use your, your dry one. So it's better to have more than one stencil so that you can go through your project a, a bit quicker. If you're waiting for the stencil to dry, 
before you can use it again, it's going to take you a lot longer, especially if you're doing a larger project like a duck boat or a car. Um, but like I said, we use them on mainly small parts for hydrographics. So regularly I would let this dry, the base coat. Um, let that dry before you start using the stencils on it. But we'll go right into it. <clears throat> So we'll take our next color, and this time we're going to use the uh, cardboard template that we made so that we don't have the overspray like we did just using the stencil. Um, if, you, if you're using it on, on a flat surface, you could also just lay sheets around the edges of the stencil, um, but this would be a lot easier and a lot quicker for you to get through your project. So what you want to do is hold it up to you uh, wherever you're, you're going to be uh, putting your camo. Now you don't want to coat, you want to coat it very lightly. You don't want to cake on the spray because what will happen will start dripping behind it and then your camouflage is not going to look good. So You want to do light coats. You don't even have to cover it all. You can do very light in some spots. It'll look better that way if you do it lighter in some spots, darker in some spots. So again, this one's gonna be wet, so you might wanna just hang the whole thing we're going to go right into doing it a little bit more. Now, to get different, so the pattern is not repetitive, you want to flip it over, you want to turn it over, and the pattern won't be as repetitive. Now the stencils, they can also be used in conjunction with different stencils. So, we can sell some grass stencils. You could start off with grass, and then go over it with a different stencil. Again, I wouldn't, uh, this is just for demonstration, I would wait for the stencil to dry before I use it again. That's why it's good to have more than one. And a lot of times when we uh, ship the stencils, we sneak in extra ones here and there. So you may end up with an extra stencil with your set. Again, so you want to Switch your pattern around so that you don't have the same exact pattern. So you might flip it over. Also recommend practicing before you start your project practice on something that isn't so important to you Again, these are flexible stencils. They're not the stencils you used in elementary school when they were really thick. They're meant to be that way so that they can be bent, shaped around different corners of your project.
All right, so once you got a second coat on there in your pattern, I'm going to use the same pattern again. I'm just going to change the color up. So let's start with a, a darker green. So we sell these uh, these stencils on Amazon, on eBay, on our own website, Etsy. So you can find them in a lot of different places. We have different packs, different sets of them. You can see as I'm using this, it's not creating the squares from the actual stencil, the edge, the overspray. Again, you don't want to do it too thick because then it will start running behind the stencil. And regularly I would let these dry before I put this back up because you can see when I put this up it messed it up a little bit up there. So you want to let it dry between uh, each spray. 